Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and I'm going to be doing a review of the Redwood Cloth Company products today. So here I have their one size pocket diaper, I have a two layer bamboo wipe, and also their five layer custom inserts. So the first thing I want to say is I ordered the pocket diaper off of the Redwood website and then I saw that they had a promotion going on where you could get a free insert with the diaper when you ordered if you used a certain code but of course I saw that too late but I wasn't going to message Jen the owner and let her know because I already know she probably has a lot on her plate so I wasn't expecting anything from it but of course when I got my diaper there was an insert and a wipe in there. And she mentioned that there was a promo going on and she saw that I didn't use my code, but she sent them anyway. So for that, I thank you, Jen. It was an amazing surprise when opening my package. So I really appreciate that. Another thing I also wanted to mention about the company before I completely forget, I usually try to hold this stuff to the end of the video, but I don't want to this time because I know I may forget. So when you order from Redwood, you may not know, but a portion of the proceeds are donated to save the Redwoods League in California. So you are saving the forest and the trees while you're making purchases from Redwood. So that is another thing that I absolutely love about this company. That being said, let's get right into the features of the diaper first. So this is the one size pocket diaper. You can see here that it has the waist, leg, and hip snap. And then there are the crossover snaps. In the middle here, we also have that center guide snap there. And then we have a three by four rise setting. I'm gonna go more into the sizing after we talk about the features of the diaper a little bit more because I have a little bit to say. <laughs> so let me show you the inside of this diaper. And I didn't mention, but this is PUL. So we have this tummy panel here and then the athletic wicking jersey and you can see the leg elastics there. And then going to the back, we have the pocket opening in the back here, which is double elastic. And I mentioned this in my previous video that I now have a preference for the double elastics and we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but the double elastics are there, but it is still a roomy pocket opening in the back here. And then of course, the beautiful print, <laughs> but I will show you now the sizing and how small this gets. Okay, so here is the diaper on the smallest rise setting with the crossover snaps being used. And here are the little leg holes. And here is the waist. And I will show you it now on the largest setting. Okay, and here is the diaper on the largest setting. And there are the leg holes and the waist. And now when I show you the largest setting, I still have it so that the hip snap is snapped at the last snap on the corner here, not the waist snap snap there. Because when you go to snap the waist snap on the last setting here, you do have the hips, the back of the hip snap exposed. So that may dig into baby, but you could totally get a an opposite snap for this. So this is a male snap. So you would snap the female snap on here and that would not dig into baby. So if you ended up getting the opposite snaps, so that didn't dig into baby, the diaper would get even bigger. So that would be the biggest setting if you were to get the opposite snaps for the hip snaps. And I wanted to get a little more into detail as far as sizing goes with these. So these are said to go from seven to 33 pounds and I will insert a video of these on Grace so you can see how they fit here. Okay, so here's Miss Grace in the Redwood diaper. Here we have one rise snap left to undo before we are at the full size for this diaper. And on this side, we have one more snap for her to go as far as the hip snap goes. And then this side, we are snapped completely out on. But this diaper fits her super well. And this is what it looks like. Okay. 
So as you can see, these fit Grace super well. So I wanted to compare these to another brand of diaper that also fit Grace really well. The brand I want to compare to is Stout House because these are said to fit six to 65 pounds. So that would be an extra 32 pounds that Stout House can fit compared to Redwood. But <laughs> wait for it. So Stout House and Redwood are lined up. And as you can see, there's only like the slightest difference as far as how far the Stout House diaper comes out compared to the Redwood. So it, the Stout House is only slightly bigger there. In the crotch area here, as far as the width goes, it's exactly the same. And then when you get down to the bottom here, you can see that Stout House is just a tad bit longer. And then the Stout House wings are also just a tad bit longer than the Redwoods. But with that being said, and looking at the small differences, since they're so close, I do think that Redwood would be able to fit bigger than 33 pounds. Now, disclaimer, it all depends on the size of your baby. So while these Stout House ones fit babies in the 65 pound range, I'm sure there are babies out there that don't fit in it at the 30 or 40 pound range just because of the differences in shapes of babies. So with that being said, I do think these would fit bigger depending on your baby's shape. So I do think Redwood is very comparable to Stout House in size. So let's get into some of the things that I love about this diaper. As you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, I love the crossover snap and they are super useful for if you have a teeny tiny baby or if you have a dirty diaper and you want to roll it up and snap it closed and throw it in your wet bag so you don't have a poopy mess in your wet bag. So that is the reason I love the crossover snaps. I also love the center guide snap here. And I love these because I do like both sides of the diaper being snapped equally. This lets me know exactly where I need to snap the diaper because I know what setting Grace is on. So that is a super great guide. I really like that center snap. I also love the three by four rise on diapers. I think it gives a better fit for baby than the three by three rise. Going to the inside, I love tummy panels. As you guys know, Grace is a tummy sleeper. So this helps keep pee from wicking onto her clothes. Another thing that I love about tummy panels is when you really stuff overnight diapers and they could be big and this kind of like sticks out a little bit. Sometimes this will stick out a little bit when I'm changing Grace in the morning. So it helps prevent wicking on baby's clothes. And I do prefer the athletic wicking jersey, which this diaper has. And the last thing that I love about this diaper is the double elastics in the back here. I said this in my previous video, but Grace has GI issues. And I used to prefer a back opening that didn't have the elastic in it. So it was easier to put your hand in at first, even though this isn't terribly hard. I just had a preference for that. But these back elastics are like a double barrier for poop. So poop has a harder chance of escaping the diaper when there are two elastics it has to go through. So those are all of the things that I really love about this diaper. If I had to pick something that I don't love about this diaper, it would be you guys probably know what's coming, it would be the hip snap. And that again is just for the reason that I said before, when baby gets to the point of going out further on the snaps, this hip snap may dig into baby, but like I said, it's not a big deal because you can just get the opposite snap to snap over top here and then you wouldn't have it digging into baby. But that is the only reason I don't prefer the hip snaps. Let's move on to talking about the custom five layer inserts. So these are made from bamboo terry and hemp cotton. As you can see on the front here, it is that bam bamboo terry material. And then on the back, we have the hemp cotton. And of course, as you all know, the most important part of an insert review is absorbency. So I am going to insert the absorbency testing here. Okay guys, so here we are about to start the absorbency testing. I have the Redwood Cloth Company's custom five layer insert here. Again, it's a bamboo terry and a hemp cotton insert. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get the weight of this insert first. Let's see, I'm going to fold it in half and put it on the scale. So two and a half ounces. So what I'm going to do now 
is I have two cups of water here and I'm gonna do a slow pour test. So what that is, I'm just gonna slowly pour the water on the insert until the water starts coming out the edges here and I'm gonna stop and we're gonna see how much this insert was able to absorb during that test. And then what I'm gonna do after that is like a maximum absorbency test where I fill up a bowl of water, I let the insert sit in the water and then I weigh it and then I let it drip till it's not dripping anymore and weigh it just to see how much maximum this insert can hold. So let's get into the slow pour test now. Okay guys, so it started coming out of the edge over here. Of course you can't see it now because it just sucked it back up. But it did start coming out the edge over here. Now it sucked it back up, but I promise you it did start coming out of the edge a little bit. But it's a good thing that this can suck the water right back up too, which is why I love hemp on the bottom. So with this slow pour test, this insert held right at about a cup of water since we had two cups in the measuring cup. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do that maximum absorbency test where I put this insert in the water and then we weigh it and I will subtract the starting weight from the weight with the water in it, and we will get how much total this insert was able to hold. Okay guys, so I've had the insert sitting in here for two minutes now, and what I'm gonna do is I have the scale set to zero, and I am going to move this around, get all the excess water out, and then near the end, I'm gonna lay it flat like it would be in a diaper, just so it's a little more realistic then waving it all in the air and whatnot because it would be laying flat in a diaper. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna move it onto the scale. So we've got a total of 10 and three quarter ounces now and we started off at two and a half, so we officially have eight and a quarter ounces in here. So it's safe to say that this insert can hold about a cup of water, which is a pretty standard amount for an insert. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. So now that you guys have seen that, we really love these inserts. We are able to use just one during the daytime with Grace. If we were to use them overnight, we would need two, but for now we are using one during the daytime. But we really enjoy these. But again, inserts perform based on your baby's absorbency needs and how your baby's peeing. So while I say I need one for Grace during the day, that may not be the case for you. I know Grace's absorbency needs have changed over time and not in the sense that we just keep needing to add more either. So sometimes we'll need to add more, but recently we've needed less. So we can get away with one insert, but previously we would have probably needed two. So it all depends on your baby's needs. So now that you've seen that, let's get into the last thing that I have here, which is the two layer bamboo wipe. Now I'm gonna say when I got this in the mail, I was like, what is this? Is this like a hand towel? Is it a wipe? Is it a trifold? Like this thing is big. I know I don't have anything to compare it to at the moment, but this thing is big for a wipe. Normally when we use cloth wipes, I normally use two to three when Grace poops. When I use this one, I only need one for a poop, which I absolutely love. I definitely need to get more of these, but you can use these for so many other things than just a cloth wipe for cloth diapering as well. You can use these as on paper towels. You can use them as a makeup remover. You can even use these as a trifold. Like I said, when I first opened it, I thought it might be a trifold just because of how big it is. But if you have a newborn, this would make an absolutely perfect trifold for the diaper. And this is probably all you would need absorbency wise in a newborn pocket. Or if you're adding absorbency to a newborn diaper, this would probably be all that you need. But with that being said, you could also use this any diaper as a booster to your main absorbency. And I think it would work great. And these come at a really good price point as well. These come in a pack of five for $10. So you really can't beat that. So that is my review of all of the Redwood products. I really recommend trying them out. It's a new company and I've really enjoyed using all of their products in case you couldn't tell. But if you've tried Redwood, please leave your experience down below. What did you like? Is there anything you didn't like? 
let us know. It's important to get so many different people's opinions because like I said, everybody's baby is different and your experience could definitely help somebody else out as well. I love to hear what you guys say and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.